Claude Loisel all set to go at center ice against Bent Gustafson. And the Devils get the draw. We're underway. Here's Pat Conacher. Bulls into the right wing corner and Mike Gartner there to slow him up. Now Stevens has it behind the net. It's sent into the corner and Bent Gustafson is over after it to Larry Murphy. The puck rides the shelf behind the goal. It's loose. It's off the post and it's in the net. Pete Peters back in the Washington goal. Tested again by the Devils. How supportive are these New Jersey Devil fans? Captain Kirk Muller loses the stick. Look how quickly they rush to give it back to him. And he waited. <laughs> Lead pass out to center ice. Hits the stick of Broughton, taken over by the Capitals. Racing in comes Mike Ridley. Ridley looks in front. He scores a shot. It's right into the net. Sundstrom tied up in front of the goal by O'Callaghan. Now Hunter's in there and some pushing and shoving starts in the corner. Right behind the goal. Now ends up, and Kerry Fraser is about to assess the game's first penalties, I believe, as linesman Kevin Collins and Leon Stickle try to keep the players apart. Jack O'Callaghan has had his helmet knocked off. And now you see Hatcher exchanging some shots with Sullivan. Number seven for New Jersey is Jack O'Callaghan. He throws it in. Peters has to dive to his right for coming from behind the goal. And now some pushing and shoving in there. McLean gets up. And he starts in with Larry Murphy of the Capitals. And the line's been in there to hold them apart. Sove, he is the first to admit, like all coach knows, it's just how your players played. Now back into the corner. Christian to Hunter. Here's Dale Hunter trying to set up. Goes back to Scott Stevens. A slap shot, a save, a rebound shot, and a goal! Hunter scores the goal on the power play. Scott Stevens gets it across the line. Here's a shot and a goal by Leach. 13 seconds left in the period. And offside is called here against the Devils. Broughton held away from Kevin Hatcher. Now and what, Hunter's in the middle of that. Now what Kevin Hatcher is asking is why was I attacked are you going to make a call? I backed away. The man came at me and shoved me, and I backed away. I didn't go after anything. Are you going to make the call? See if we can see how it happened. Here comes Pat Verbeek. Now, Kevin Hatcher had shot the puck. Verbeek ducked, and you see Kevin Hatcher stick right up in the face of Pat Verbeek. What now about that the swing slash. there? Yeah, I, you know. There's the hit that starts everything between Muller and Corvo, and then as they come up ice, exchange some sticks, some slashes. And it really looks like maybe Corvo could have gotten a little extra time. Tied up inside the line. Hunter works it free. Back to center. And a stolen puck. Racing in is Corvo. A shot and a goal. Ivan Corvo on a breakaway goal that solves Sean Burke. Washington takes a 4-1 to lead. Leach tries to cut to the net. Fires a shot. Corvo bumps for the rebound and can't find it. And Burke has covered the puck. Now the Devils all crowd in on Ivan Corvo. And starts some pushing and shoving. And now Corvo, I don't think, is even on the bottom of the pile. Danico's got a pretty good grip on him. The Capitals' point men have stayed out of it so far. So there are more Devils in this fracas than there are Capitals. Kerbers looks like he's at the bottom of the pile with Stephen Leach. Well, it's Leach and Corvo trying to work a play. Ivan Corvo. Here is the scramble. Look at Kirk Muller pull his way outside of this pack. But two people get a stick on it before Muller can come up with it cleanly. And then look at Dale Hunter diving in there like a football player after a fumble. Gartner with two goals, three assists, and five points. 14 penalty minutes. Sanders it. A shot and a goal. Patrick Sundstrom checked by Stevens. A breakaway. Shorthanded. Kelly Miller. A shot and a goal. Back come the Devils on the attack. Sullivan gets across the line. Corn jammed up, and here's Maley cutting in. He centers it. It's behind Peters into the net. The Devils score. The first.
first New Jersey scoring play since the 18 second mark of the first period of the game. It's now six to two. Murphy walks in. He shoots and a save by Sobe. Rebound. Just through the skates of Hunter to the corner. He was being held up by Driver. Out at center ice. Larry Murphy starts back in. We've got one of the Devils down. It's Tom Curvers in the corner. And he is slow in getting up. And trainer Chris Ipson is brought on now to look at Tom Curvers. This happened in a collision with Beck Gossipson while they were chasing the puck. Curvers did the job to clear the zone, but really paid the price. and Gustafson hustling for the puck. Curvers beats him to it, but you see when he wound up to take that big golf-like swing at the puck, put himself off balance and was run into the board on a legal hit by Bank Gustafson. Ledyard runs some interference there on Brown. Corn comes out of the box. Here's a centering pass blocked by O'Callaghan, and he sends it all the way down the ice. Two minutes to go. And now we've got a fight going to the right of Bob Sove, and Doug, or rather Jim Korn, has jumped in there. And Jim Korn trying to get in lots of work at close range, even though he's got two linesmen trying to pull him off. It's Dale Hunter. That's the guy he really wants to go at, and no question, Korn wasted no time in coming out of the box and starting something with Hunter. This is Jim Schoenfeld's game. We'll see how this works. Now, Kerry Fraser been whacked by the stick of Dale Hunter once Korn got up. And now Hunter, or rather Grant Ledyard, I think, has challenged Korn coming up. And I think Conacher now stepped in on Ledyard, and this is getting ridiculous again. Hunter's being held away by linesman Kevin Collins, so Leon Stickle and Kerry Fraser are left to sort out the pile. And Korn is still the man that the officials are focusing their attention to, although Conacher has a grip on Ledyard and is holding him to the ice. Korn's now in on top. Kevin Hatcher's standing by. He wants to get involved and is going to pull O'Callaghan out of there. Hatcher has wisely not dropped his gloves, although O'Callaghan does not have his gloves on. And Korn still on top of both Conacher for New Jersey. And the Washington player, Grant Ledger, and now they finally stand up. And we'll see more players go to the box here at the 1802 mark of the third period. 27 seconds still left on the Danico call. Korn is already headed back to the dressing room. Now he starts to go toward the Washington bench. Here's how it all began. Honors to the left of your screen. In comes Jim Korn. Right there, goes up high with the stick. Now watch what happens. It's not enough that he knocks the guy down, but he's got to make sure he gets a couple sucker punches in there. Oh, he says, I got an upper hand on this sure. guy. How often is that going to happen? You won't do it face to face. You knock the guy down, then you jump on top of him. I will bet, though, that we'll see Jim Korn in game seven. This is his first appearance of the series against Washington. Here's a shot and a goal by Gartner. We'll be back with tonight's post-game show.